Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I don't think you really want to see the other side of my room. It's just all full of computer monitors on the desk. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't turn you around. Oh, dear. Good morning. Happy Tuesday for you. I've got my coffee with my Mickey on. I'm feeling very Disney-fied today. Hope you're okay. Mm. Excuse me, I need the coffee today. I'm having one of those days where I can't quite wake up. Um, somebody just asked me if I'm going live this morning. Hi, um, my mum has. I'm hoping she'll see that I'm now live on my page. Uh, I'm a bit late this morning. I can't wake up. Morning, Philomena. How are you? I don't know about you ladies, but I've just been having such a busy time. It's been brilliant. I've been doing lots, getting out and about walking a lot. I think I did just under 20,000 steps yesterday. Had a lovely walk at Marston Reservoir with my lovely friend Rebecca and her kids and the dogs. Nice socially distanced walk. And on Sunday, we had a fabulous walk. Hi, Joe. We had a fabulous walk with the dogs with my daughter's boyfriend and their family up Ivinghoe Beacon. Uh, all day we took a picnic up there and we walked uphill and down dale and got sunburnt faces and yeah so it's just been such a busy time getting out and about but thankful for the weather good morning helen i'm glad you're here joe i did like when i was lying in bed this morning in my glory <laughs> i did like seeing your hedgehog video this morning your photos of horace he's super cute I'm so glad he's still living in your garden. Hope you're all well. I've been playing in my craft room this morning, which is why I'm late. I kind of got carried away and then I was like, oh my goodness, it's already gone 11 o'clock. I better get on with it. How ridiculous. Anyway, so I think it's time now. I've got a really simple card for you this morning, um, but I did change it up about four times. Morning, mum. I got here at last. I'm a bit late. I did change my card up about four times this morning because I couldn't make up my mind. But the problem is there's so many beautiful stamp sets to play with. Anyway, um, good morning, Claire. Uh, I'll turn it over the camera so you're not just looking through my back window and you can see what we're going to play with. Okay, are you ready? Hold on then. Hold on, hold on. Here you are, here's my workspace. And, oh, there's a lot of shadow again. Hang on, I'll see if I can sort that out too. See if I can clip you in without cutting anyone off. That's it, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Lovely, a little bit of shadow there, isn't there? Let's see if I can move the light away and just beam it up, Scotty. That's a little bit better, a bit less shadow there. Glue my washi tape, my grid paper down with some washi tape to stop it shifting. I've got lots of stamps here, can you see? These little stamps, these are the smaller stamps from a stamp set. This absolutely beautiful stamp set called Blossoms in Bloom. And it comes with that gorgeous big die that cuts all of this out. Oh, thanks Helen. This is what happens to my hair when I don't um, blow dry it. It's just curly and I've decided to just embrace it. So I don't blow dry it anymore. I just leave it. I don't even brush it. I think I brush it, if that makes sense. And then it just goes all wild. Right, okay. I'm embracing the wildiness. So I've picked up all the tiny little ones, all of these little flowers from here. It's got some great sentiments in this set, hasn't it? I might use one, but I've actually chosen one from another set, which is a bit naughty. Right, let's move them out of the way. Simple stamping, okay? Really simple. And I wanted to go with simple because I wanted you, you to see what you could do if you just had one, well, not maybe one stamp set, but yeah, one stamp set. I'm not lucky, Helen, bless you. It's just gone wild. And over the last few years, I've just been, I just blow my hair. I had my hair cut. I just blow dry my hair. I brush it. I blow dry my hair and that's it. And then every time I don't blow dry my hair, it goes all this like curly frizzy stuff. So I just thought I'd see what happened if I didn't, if I just let it go. And yeah, it seems to be one to want to be curly. I think it's just, I don't know, over the years it's got curlier. It's weird. Yes, Claire, this is going to be a really simple card just to show you what you can do if you have one ink pad, one colour ink pad. 
So I'm going to go with the new beautiful Misty Moonlight. I love this blue colour. It's so beautiful. And I've got one of our note cards from the note card and envelope pack. This set is gorgeous, Joe. It's really good. I think it's so versatile. So these are little note cards. You get 20 in a pack with the envelopes. You can get them in vanilla and white. And they are three and a half by five. So I've taken another piece of Whisper White, just to cut a piece up, which is quarter of an inch smaller. And it makes uh, this layer three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Good old inches, eh? Good old inches. So I've also got another piece, which is the same width as the layer. So it's four and three quarters along. I love this set. Hi, Lucy. Good morning. And this is an inch. Just an inch. I just cut it at an inch. Just going to play. But I have been in my craft room all morning making all manner of mess, inky fun. I've not really produced anything <laughs> at all. And I'm using, for my sample, I used a completely different stamp set. Hey, Hilary. Hilary, I've only just got started. Don't tell anyone, but I was really late. <laughs> morning i was just telling them hillary that i'm using the whisper white note cards and envelopes i've got a layer for my whisper white that's just smaller slightly for a border and then i've got an inch strip to go along that layer that's the same width and i'm going to be playing with one ink pad for this card and these stamps and i'm actually thinking that i might get my grubby paper out because i just put this fresh piece down but I'm going to be stamping off. So hold on a sec. Let's bring the grubby bit in. You can see what I was playing with then. Okay, yeah, I was playing with everything today. Uh, okay, so we want our layer, don't we? There it is. There it is. Okay, and our misty moonlight, brand new in colour. I love the five new in colours a lot this time. Really, really love them. I'll bring these in. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all. I just, just literally um, got them out of the packet and I haven't played with, them, played with them for this card. So if it doesn't turn out, oh well, not the end of the world, is it? Right, I'm going to take the largest one, the largest flower, and it's kind of grainy. It's meant to give a watercolour impression. No, it's not just you, Hilary. It's me. I'm super late today. Um... And I think I'm going to stamp it off like that. And where I have got my strip, I hope you can see this strip on there. I'm just going to go, I'm going to move it. So I'm just using it to guide where I'm going to stamp. Because I want it to peep out from underneath. Maybe a bit further down then. Hi Jacqueline! Like that. Just get a general, general idea. Yeah, definitely a bit further up and a bit further down. So let's take it right up. This is a great, um, great way of playing with ink and paper. And it's a really simple card. So if you're not a card maker, you're new to it, and you haven't got a lot of supplies, it's very simple to create a pretty card with not many supplies and it's not technical right okay so i've just got a few bits on there uh what else have i got i've got a smaller one i've got i think i'm gonna go for this nice big leaf and i think i'm gonna go in strong for the leaf oh love that look at that like that But I am blue. I have been playing with the blue. I might leave that and come back with that to do the last one. I like things in threes, but I want to evenly spread it out. So what have I got here? Another tiny little flower, another tiny little flower, another flower. I'm going to go in with this one. Just deciding where. There. It's just a slightly smaller, but not much smaller, to be honest. Ooh, 
think I'll leave that one a minute. I'm just deciding my my strategy. I think I'll get this leaf in because that'll help me. Just gonna stamp it off once for this leaf. Oh, Helen, me too, you know. It's nice to get a really easy card that you could create. You don't have to get tons of supplies. Anyone can make it. Right, okay, I've got three of them. Just deciding what I'm putting in my gaps. I've got lots of gaps. Right, okay, I've got a gap here and I'm deciding what to put in that. I think I'm gonna put another flower. But I think I'm gonna change it up with the orientation slightly. Like that, stamped it off a bit more. There we are, and then, uh, sorry, I get a bit quiet and I'm concentrating. Good morning, Sarah Bolt. How the devil are you? Full strength little one. I'm gonna cover that one up. That wasn't very clever, was it? I think I'm just gonna put it down there. Just fill in the gaps. Oh, I just got ink, see? Do you see what I mean? All morning, I've just been covering myself in ink. All morning. And do you know what? Who cares? I'm going to turn it over. There's another bit of card on the other side. And then do I, I don't need all of these, do I? I might somehow get this little one in. See, I'm just using it because it's there now. No, I'm not going to put any more in. It's getting overcrowded. Right. Okay. So I'm going to use the other side of this piece of card. There, I could do the middles of these. I think the middles are in the box. So this is the box and I think it must be this. I haven't used it yet. Should we have a go? Looks like it should be. Tiny weeny stamp, we don't wanna lose that. I'm gonna put it on this block. Take that one off, I've not used it. Keep it safe. Hi, Carol, good morning to you. I hope you're well. Yeah, so I'm going to do the middles full strength and just go in and hope for the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, now my washing machine is finished. Sometimes I think that's just a ridiculous noise on my washing machine and I don't want it beeping at me when it's finished. So I managed to turn the tumble dryer one off and now I'm... Oh, I wish I knew when my tumble dryer finished. <laughs> Honestly, there's no pleasing me. Oh yeah, look at that, just one more. Happy days. I don't think they're meant to be exact. They don't actually fit. I don't think that's the, the point of it. It's meant to give you an impression. Oh, I like that. So pretty and simple with all the different color. See, this is the, a trick. So one ink, different shades to make it look like you've got different colors really. And you just create that. You've got first generation, second generation, and so on and so forth. And you can get all your different shades and create different shades. And it just looks so lovely. So that's that. Oh, I'm going to keep that one out because I've got this one. This says miles apart, but still in my heart. Now I have cheated and I've gone for a different stamp set. I do like to stick with one normally because you've bought a stamp set. You want to use that stamp set. You don't have to have hundreds, do you? And that's, that's, that's actually perfect because you could do happy birthday or get well soon. I like you a lot. I like that one. Perhaps I'll put I like you a lot on there. Yeah, let's do that. I just thought this is a useful one at the moment when you're missing people. Like I'm missing my mum. Right. Let's do I like you a lot. <laughs> I do. Oh, thanks, Joe. I'm glad you like it. Because I could put some, no, I'm not going to put any much many flowers or anything on it. Right, let's stamp on it. It's a bit distracting with all that in the background, isn't it? I'm hoping that somebody will come downstairs and turn my washing machine off. Because it might be disturbing Jim. He's on a call in the other room. So how are you all? One way to get your photopolymer stamp to be straight on the 
block is line it up on your grid paper or something with lines on because it's very easy to bend a photopolymer stamp and it's not straight. Yeah, we miss you, Mum. We want to come and see you. We must come and see you. So I'm going to do I like you a lot and hopefully I won't smudge it. God, it just reminds me of Paul Daniels. <laughs> Not a lot. I like you a lot. Okay, so I've got I like you a lot. And I think I'm going to just put some of these little ones. What do these look like? Are these really cute, aren't they? A little bit of that on there, just to break up the white space. I like you a lot. Like that. Good morning, Maureen. So we've got that, and then we need to stick it together. But, 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 see, I've still got blue ink here. Where does it actually come from, apart from my fingers, huh? I'm going to put this up on... Um, I don't think I've got any foam strip around. Um, I think I'll just use dimensionals. Might have foam strips somewhere. I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the edge off here. So I'll grab my snips. I'm just going to go in, cut it off. Like that. Cut the other end. Like that. Go along. I'm going to do two of those. Just make sure it's on right. Oh, good morning, Philomene. Thank you. It's so kind of relaxing just using one stamp set and one ink pad. You don't have to think about it very much, do you? It's quite satisfying to create with. There we are. I think I'm going to be part of the card. Oh yeah, I like the navy and white too, Jan. I think I got inspired by the boho indigo papers. They are so beautiful. They are so gorgeous. I don't think I've stopped playing with those. And um, also this colour combination. So I like you a lot. I'm not sure that's straight. But it will be by the time I've finished. Oh, hang on. I haven't taken the sticky foam strip off the bot off the top one. It's probably helped me reposition it though. There we go. So I like you a lot. We are going to I might just take that tiny bit off there with my trimmer. If you don't get glue in your trimmer, I'm good at getting everything a bit gluey. There we are. So that's going to go on there. It leaves a nice little border around the outside. Um, I'm going to glue that straight down. I did get my ribbon out as well. So I've got my ribbon. I'm not going to use it because I changed my mind. But I've got my white seam binding ribbon, the crinkly one. Good morning, Annette. Um, and I was going to dye it with the blend pen to match. I don't think I'm going to bother. Maybe on the next card, I'll do something like that. So very simple, I like you a lot. Now, I've got my new stamp and seal. It's like the old snail. Helen, it is here waiting for you in its box in all its glory. I love my trimmer, I must get some more blades on my order. I haven't had to get any for ages, I think I need some, oops, that's on the 
there we are see this is really good this glue i like it a lot good morning nicole how the devil are you i hope you're very well so what else do we need we need a bit of bling <laughs> bling sorry <laughs> lucy are you there i got the bling out they're just rhinestones. It's nothing very exciting, but I just thought they would look nice on there. I like you a lot. So I'm gonna use a couple of these really small ones with my take your pick tool, picks them up perfectly easily like that. And it just adds a little bit of something pretty on that very, very um, sort of two color card. Oh, Claire, I'm glad you like it. And you're very good at making cards. Do not be so modest. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of bling. How simple was that card? I like you a lot. Just so if you, I mean, this is just ideal, this Blossoms and Blooms. It's so versatile. If you've got any little flowers, you could make a card like that, can't you? Right, let's move things out of the way and make another one another one but I'm not going to use blue let's move that because I'm no completely blue but I think I'm going to do the same idea so I've got the same the same um whisper white note card the same size layer which is quarter of an inch smaller and I'm going to go again with a one inch piece of whisper white at the same length as the layer width as the layer so that's easy and on your trimmer it's you can measure it all in either um inches or centimeters at the top there so you've got it how you like it right i'm going to do it again but i'm going to do it in a different color and i'm just deciding what to do i think i'm going to go for should we go for something oh, i don't know whether to go for bumblebee or jade I think I'm going to go for Bumblebee. I've got the jade out, but I'm going to change my mind. All right, ladies. Here we go. Are we going to go for Bumblebee or are we going to go for Magenta Madness? This is very bright. What would you prefer? What do you think would look nicest? I'm going to make the same, a similar type card. Let's just clean these off because we don't want blue everywhere. Let me know. Jade. Oh, I've put the jade away. We're now on magenta or bumblebee. Give me a clue on which you'd like. Oh, jade. All right. I'm putting it away. Jade it is then. <laughs> We're back for the jade. Here we are. Jade it is. Just going to clean the stamps off so we don't end up with blue. I've got my lovely chamois. Do you want to see how dirty it is? <laughs> oh, God above it is grim. But it's not, if you know what I mean. Let's put that in there so I don't lose it. Leaves. Look at the state of this. Not much better that side. Guess what's actually going to go in the washing machine this afternoon? My hands. No, the chamois. I did wash it out before I started, but my brand new Misty Moonlight is so juicy. That's a technical word, that is. Juicy. This Just Jade will be juicy as well, because they're brand new ink. Uh, pads and I've only uh, used them like once All right here we go oh magenta bumblebee what am I gonna do ladies what am I gonna do right we're going for magenta because it's so mad maybe I should do one in each of the in colors all right I tell you what we'll do is I'll do one in magenta now and then later on, I'll make us a couple more in the, the other three in colours and I'll post them all up. And then you're on the, on, the, on the group and then you can see. And you can tell me which one you like. That would be fun. 
show off the ink colours. They are lovely this year. I love them all. Usually there's one that I'm a bit, mm, yeah, mm. but this year, no, I love them all. All of them. Now I'm going to try and make it a similar way because I quite liked how that came out. Right, but you know what? It never comes out the same, does it? I am going for magenta, ladies, and I'm going to stamp some off because it's very bright. Ah, they're all my favourites too, Joe. Honestly, if anybody asks me what my favourite ink colour is at the minute, I'd be very hard pressed. Yeah, so you need it to show. Right, okay, so I've got that like that. Okay, and we're going to go for that nice, big, bright, um, let's make sure it's clean, yeah, um, leaf. Look at that, that's madness, isn't it? Very simple way of making a card. Loving it. Really like that. All right, let's put that one there. And then we're going to go for the smaller flower. And I think we're just going to stamp it off once to give it a bit more definition. Right, and then we're going for the middles. The middles are going to be full strength. I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way, to be honest. I'm just going to pop it in. So I've done like six million loads of washing over the last couple of days after I raided my boys' bedrooms. And... Uh, I've got a line full and Alexa tells me that it's going to rain at 12 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm hoping that actually she's wrong and it's not going to be quite, but maybe a bit after. Wish me luck. All right, let's put the pink in, stamp that off. Oh, I had a little bit of a panic last night. You'll laugh. I uh, I was sat there late before I went to bed on my Todd watching some really awful telly that you don't really have to think very much about that I like to do before I go to bed. And um, <laughs> suddenly it occurred to me that I've got about maybe eight weeks before John goes to uni and then it's time to start thinking about an Ikea shop you know the whole thing we have to go and you know get their bits and bobs before they go off so he'll need like a new duvet and he'll need some you know crockery cutlery and a few pots and pans and bits and bobs not too much but you know that thing where you have to make sure they've got all their stuff I was like no that can't be right <laughs> can't be be yet I know. So just like, oh no, this can't be right. 40% chance she told me that, so she hasn't changed. Thanks, Helen, for checking that out for me. She hasn't changed her mind then. Oh, Alexa, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit later. Right, okay, so I've got my little flowers. I managed to get all of them on there. <laughs> got nothing left in this bit. They're all up there now. So we are going to put, I think I'm going to put the other stamp that I was going to use on there just to change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to put this miles apart but still in my heart stamp. Let's make sure there's no blue on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're going to have to go shopping for Johnny to go to university. It's so exciting. But, oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here we go. Sarah's moving into her new digs very soon. Because they can move in in August. Oh, I squished it. Can you see? I tend to do this with this stamp set. I'm very heavy handed and I have to remember not to press it so hard. Good job. There's another side to each piece of cardstock. That's why I like stamping because to be fair, nothing dreadful is going to happen if it goes a bit wrong, is it? <laughs> Miles apart but still in my heart. Okay, I'm going to use the other bits on here now. The other sides for the straight bits. Let's just pull it off. Don't need to um don't need to use my scissors. So, has anybody been creating? Here we go. God, it is really pink, isn't it, ladies? What do you think of this? Is it a bit too much? So pretty though, isn't it? That stamp set. I must pop a new blade in there in a minute, I think. I've had that one in there a long time. So that's all right. Don't mind that. A few more of these. Should I have it up the right way? That would be good. Just balances it out a little bit. I do like this white space. Mayhem. Have you been creating mayhem again, Helen? You are a one. <laughs> you don't create mayhem. You're the most organised, calm person I know. There we are. Lots of glue. I'm your neighbour. I'm your neighbour. I'm your neighbour. I need a caravan-shaped mug rug, Mum, desperately. That sounds so fun. Brilliant. I'd love to see them. Can you post a picture in our Ink Stamp Share VIP uh, Facebook group, Mum? Doesn't matter, it's not stamping. I'd love to see your mug rugs. Oh, thank you, Philomena. That's really kind. So we've got those two. Aren't they pretty? Funnily enough, they're just one colour on each and they're still pretty. Does anybody know what the time is? Because if we've got time, I'll make one more. Do you think I should? I don't know what the time is because I haven't got my laptop out. Oh, I'm glad you like them. I think we should do a Just Jade one. A quick Just Jade one. Let's grab the things I might need. We also need envelopes, don't we? One, two, three, and then another. See, they come in this pack, which is really useful. So there's the note card. Let's just trim some paper to the right size for my layer. So my layer is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. I think that's gonna be big enough, yes. Three and a quarter, sorry, four and three quarters, that's what I need. And I've got glue on it, never mind. Yeah, I need to clean my trimmer, I've made it a messy, because I'm a messy girl. One inch strip. And there's my strip to go across it. 
Oh, sorry, Lucy. I'm sorry your signal's a bit rubbish today. Sending you big loves. Definitely. It's 6.43. Is it? Is that in the evening? No, hang on. New York. What time is it? Is that in the evening, Philomena? So it must be quarter to 12 here then. Because it's quite a quick card to make, isn't it? So I'm going to do one with Jade. Just to um, see what it looks like. So I'll just have to give these stamps a clean. Because we don't want pink and green together, do we? Could be interesting. So this is the Just Jade. It's a fabulous colour. In the morning, that makes much more sense, actually. <laughs> yeah. 6.43, goodness, how lovely of you to be up so early and join us every time. That is early. Right, I'm going to play and I'm going to put some flowers in. Actually, I'm going to get the big flower. Where's the big flower? Here it is. Wow, are you always an early bird? Early bird catches the worm. Oh, that's nice when it's stamped off quite a bit. There's a bit of stuff on there. Don't know where that came from though. Off the stamp, perhaps. I'm getting to, oh, I didn't stamp that off as much. It doesn't really matter. I'm getting to work out exactly where I want my, because I've done it a couple of times now, where I want my images to go so that they can be seen. I'll put another one in there. Right, let's move that one. Makes a squeaky noise. Sorry, you got my arm in there. Full strength green for the big leaf that I like. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's no, it's still morning. Good morning, Nikki. How are you? Lovely to see you pop up. Nikki's my stamping buddy. She was one of my one of my very first Stampin' Up friends I met when I very first joined Stampin' Up. And she was so kind. I went to um convention and we had a craft and noon the day before. I knew nobody at all but my upline who was running the craft and noon. I knew not one person. And she befriended me and she was so kind. Oh, that's so kind, Philomena. You're very nice. Right, smaller flower. We'll go for that one. Just bring that in there. I think that's enough there. And I think we will put in that leaf because we need something else in there, don't we? The green is quite intense, isn't it? But I do like it. Should have left a bit more gap there. And where's that little one? Here it is. I know this little one seems to finish it off. It is amazing that you're so far away and yet you're with us. <laughs> I love it. Technology's incredible, isn't it? What a lovely little family we are. All right, let's pop that in there. Nikki, if you're still there, do you remember that very first on stage event where I met you? She gave me all the lowdown on who all the people were, who all the important people were. I had no clue. I had no idea. I just was very excited to see all these beautiful new products and ideas. And, oh, it was just fab. Um, I think I might put this tiny little leaf in here. Hi, Maria. Good evening from Melbourne. Wow, how lovely of you to join us. Aren't we blessed? We've got Philomena from New York. We've got Maria from Melbourne. How is it over there, Maria? Are you all all right? 
I hope you are. I think Melbourne might have gone back into lockdown if I've been hearing the news correctly. By the way, I hope you're safe and sound. Right, we need another stamp here. And I think I might go for, I don't want a happy birthday for this one. I think, trust me, you're lovely. Where is it? Is it that one? Yes, you are. How are you coping? Are you all okay? We're just coming out of it here. Um, our restrictions are being eased gradually, sort of week by week, and we're getting to the point now where all our shops have opened pretty much. There's just a few things left to go. But I can see a second wave on its way. But, you know, we'll all get through and come out the other side, especially with each other, to help us through, won't we, eh? So I'm going to go for Trust Me, You're Lovely. I could send this to quite a few people. Let's hope I haven't squadged it. Oh, no, it came out really well. I love the font on this one, on this stamp set. The Lovely You stamp set has all this beautiful font. So I don't have any of those edge pieces left on my uh, dimensionals. And I've, I do have some strips, but I don't know where I put them. They're probably in a drawer. So I'm not going to hunt around while I'm on camera because you'll be there twiddling your thumbs. I'm going to use lots of these. Five or six of those. Yes, you're having your second wave. I'm sorry to hear that. I am... Um, I think we are going, we've got it coming at some point. I just hope that uh, it's not too bad for any of us. We'll get by, won't we? Oh, I didn't stamp any more on there. Never mind, let's just pop it on. I was getting distracted with those dimensionals. Trust me, you're lovely. Now, I might try, but it's quite bumpy. Oh, we've got our special guest arriving. Alfie, come on in then. The dog likes to be in on the Facebook Live. <sighs> and if he's not in the room, whilst we, when we start, he makes sure he is by the end of it and he bashes the door until we let him in. <laughs> Bless him. He likes the ladies. There we go. Trust me, you're lovely. And then I'll pop some more. Oh, the camera moved. I do apologise. I'm sure if that's straight. Is that straight? I did that last time. I don't think I can pull that up, so it's got to be straight. Okay, let's use some seal. If you haven't tried this seal out, I encourage you to. It's great. It's our new um, adhesive. And I really like it. It's very strong. Does the job. Trust me, you're lovely. And we'll put some the, um, gems on there. So there you are. You don't need to have loads and loads and loads of different colours on your card if you don't have a lot of... Um... Oh, I dropped my gemstone. Where? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. If you don't have a lot of different colours, you don't need a lot of different colours. You can just use one and just stamp it off, like I said, to create lots of different shades. Right. Oh, God, I can't pick them up now. Is it nearly lunchtime? I think that's what the problem is. <laughs> but I do think these rhinestones give it a little bit of extra special just make it a little bit special and then you can write on the inside yes i will do the envelopes definitely because i haven't done that for a few weeks that's why i got them out i was like oh keep getting through my envelopes and then when i come to put the card in i have to go back and do it again so i've got green i've got just jade i've got magenta madness and i've got misty moonlight 
So let's do the envelopes. Let's have that. And we'll do them in the right. So what did I just do, Jade? So we'll do that first. Okay, I like them just in the one colour. Isn't it funny? I think you're right. So there's that. And a bit of that. Like that on the envelope. I'm actually going to do some on the back. I'm going to try and do it over the seal. There. So that's our envelope. Just a little bit of pretty to cheer up the recipient and the postman. <laughs> we like to cheer up the postie, don't we? Oh, I might do flowers on the pink one, just to change that up a bit. Right. Oh, yes, I like that. Might do a little one. Oh, did a bit of skew with one. It's all right. There we are. Let's put a little bit of, is that little, oh, here it is. I just need to clean it. I don't want green in it, do we? I think I just put green in my pink ink pad. That was terrible. There we go. Just a little bit of flowers. Do one on the back. Pink bit there, how, where from? I want to know where did it come from? A little bit of pink on that one. And then misty moonlight. And I think I'm gonna have to wash my hands at the end. I look like I've been in a fight with the paintbrush or something today. <laughs> where are you, misty moonlight? Here we are. I love this stamp set. I really, really love it. I like the dies. The dies are amazing. I The card I made with the last card I made, I've actually sent, so I can't get it out and show you again. But I did make it on, I think I made it on a Thursday live. I can't quite remember, but it'll be there on my page somewhere or on my blog. I sent it out, so I can't show it you, but I used the dies and the stamps together. And the dyes are just beautiful. I'm just going to have leaves. Sorry, my blocks do make a bit of a noise when they go down, don't they? So that, 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 that. And then use this little flower again, which... It's very popular with me. I really like it. So there's the, the blue. And I'll pop a couple of these on here. Then. Okay, let's move all the ink out of the way before I stick my big fists in it. <laughs> Easy to do, isn't it, right? Oh, look, I got pink on there. Where is it coming from, ladies? Never mind, we'll write, we'll write over that when I write the card and the envelope. Let's move that so you can see. Just look at me. Does anybody else get like this with a brand new ink pad? Honestly, honestly. So we've got the blue one with the envelope. Good morning, Emma. We're having fun this morning. I'll just come into the end of coffee and cards. We're having fun with some simple stamping with just one colour ink pad and the note cards and envelopes. And I've chosen the Blossoms in Bloom, just the stamp set. 
And I've just picked a couple of uh, other sentiments from the lovely you as well. Um, do you know what, Mum? I am a mucky kid and I don't think that's ever changed, has it? I think I was always the one who was up to my ears in mud when I was a kid and I don't think, yeah, nothing's ch nothing's changed. <laughs> so I can't even just say I, I'm a clean, I'm not, I'm not. Right, so we've got, oh, I really like this, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade and the Magenta Madness that is, it is what it is. It is mad, but I really like that. Anyway, I hope this encourages you to have a go at some monochrome stamping, some simple stamping with one ink colour. Let me know if you have a go with one ink colour. Maybe if you do make anything, pop it on the group because I love it when you pop things on the group. It'd be really nice to share what we do. Hope you like it. Um, yeah, and I shall be back on Thursday evening. I hope I've inspired you a little bit. Thanks, Helen. I'm glad you like it. Get your craft. Are you off today, Helen? Are you busy? Are you off? Get your crafty bits out. Dig them out. Easy for Christmas cards, wouldn't it be? You could have some pretty ferns in one colour. That would be... Um... Hey, Carol. Yeah. Yeah, post some if you make any. I'd love to see it. Anything you're making at all, put it in the, uh, even if it's not stamping, put it in the VIP group. I'm really keen to see what everyone's making at the minute. It's all good. I've had rather a lot of cards during the whole of lockdown. Considering we've been um, restricted for so many weeks, I've had some beautiful cards sent me and I'm going to share them all with you on Thursday. So at the end of my little card making session I will um just go through all the cards I've had sent to me and share them with you so you can have a look oh thanks Jan lovely to see you here this morning okay well I'll love and leave you now because my tummy's rumbling I don't know about you and I've let my coffee go cold so I'm gonna get another one of those did you work all weekend you must put your feet up put your feet up and maybe get some of your crafty stuff out have a lovely couple of days ladies and I shall see you on Thursday evening I hope take care Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.